Here are terror raid tips that you may not know. Number one, support mods are actually pretty viable. You can use a tanky mod that has prankster or just overall bulky mod because it's you're in here for the endurance, all right? And you can use reflect and light screen to actually buff your allies defensively. And there is a new Pokemon that's called Arbolivia that has exclusive move that can AOE heal allies and it's called Seed Tower. Number two, the box legendary Maridon for Violet and Coridon for Scarlet are actually pretty good for raids. Even if they're not super effective against the, the Terra type, they have 405 uh, your base, I mean not base, but 405 attack when it's like maxed out or special attack if it's maxed out just be careful defensively though like if the terra pokemon itself can do like fairy moves so you want to be careful number three multi-target moves like earthquake lava plume petal dance you know petal blizzard can not hit your allies so it's pretty much like a 1v1 battle so if the moves don't actually hit your allies you can just earthquake as much as you want number four you can put statuses and stat down on the the ray boss like you can use the first turn to set up uh with like screech or metal sound for the stat down and then the dps can do sword dance or like nasty plot or something that'll be very good because then the boss doesn't actually do any like kind of funny business until they're actually damaged and do note that when it does have a shield up you can't actually put statuses on it or any stat downs on it all okay? right number five even if it does have the shield though, you can actually do clear smog and remove any buffs like Dragon Dance or like Boca or whatever kind of buffs it's going to do. Number six, the Pokemon in the Terra Raid Dance actually do have different drops. As you can see on the website right here on Cerebi, I'll put the link in the description down below. Um, they have a list of all the Pokemon that could appear in Dens and especially for five stars and six stars, right? And if you want specific herbs and stuff like that, you can actually go here and then see which one you're looking for, like Salty Herbs, uh, Cloister, Slowbro, Gengar, Among Us, and Electros for 5-star raids drop, have a chance to drop all the herbs. So, there's that. 7. This was mentioned in my other raid guide, my terror raid guide. If you don't actually make a move, the boss will not attack you. So technically, strategically, you can stall, especially when you're dying or getting carried. So, just, just AFK, let go of your controller. Number eight, every death means that you lose a chunk of time. So pay attention to the Pokemon you're fighting. Um, just see and figure out like, oh, it's a Dark and Steel type. So it probably had Dark and Steel, even though Terra type is like Ground or, or Fairy or something. Just be careful. You don't want to. It's Endurance. Remember, it's Endurance. Number nine, also in the other video, I mentioned that you can actually time skip to respawn dens to get a fresh batch. Especially like you're running around with all of them, like all, all kind of bad three stars or whatever. You can respawn them, okay? And that's pretty much it for the video. Hopefully you guys found this helpful. Like, comment, subscribe. I also do raids on Twitch and stuff like that. Currently, this is my main game. So feel free to drop by. Uh, I might even have ability patches. So if you guys need healing abilities, maybe, maybe I might have it.